Let's now start the engines. The captain announces the engine start sequence. Normal start sequence is engine number 2, then 1. It is recommended to change the selected igniter for each flight. For today, select the right igniter. Move the number 2 engine start switch to ground. The start valve opens and the start valve open alert shows on the engine display. As the starter motor turns N2, the N2 indication starts to increase. Before you move the start lever to idle, make sure there is movement in the N1 indicator. and N2 is at 25% or at maximum motoring and a minimum of 20% N2. Maximum motoring is when N2 acceleration is less than 1% in approximately 5 seconds. Now move the right start lever to idle. The fuel flow indication starts to increase. Within 10 seconds after the start lever is moved to idle, the EGT indication shows an increase in temperature. At 56% N2, the engine start switch moves to off. The start valve closes, the engine bleed air valve opens, and the start valve open alert extinguishes. The first officer makes sure the alert is extinguished and the engine start switch is off. The first officer tells the captain when the starter has cut out. If the start switch does not move to off automatically, the captain moves the switch to off. An increase in oil pressure must occur before the indications are stabilized at idle. The first officer tells the captain when oil pressure increases. You must monitor N1, EGT, N2, and fuel flow indications until they stabilize at idle. When the engine indications are stabilized at idle, the other engine can be started. Let's start engine number one. Move the number one engine start switch to ground and monitor engine number one indications. When N2 is at 25% and N1 has movement, move the left start lever to idle. Monitor the start until engine number one indications are stabilized. Remember, the first officer informs the captain when the starter has cut out and oil pressure has increased. The flight is now completed and the airplane is at the gate. Let's shut down the engines. Before engine shutdown, Make sure the electrical buses are powered by the APU or by external ground power. For today, use the APU.
Now move the engine start levers to cut off. This completes the engine shutdown.